All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, and now that I'm ready to roll, I can get this thing to work. Um, so give me one minute. Welcome! Grace and peace be with you, my friends and familia, on this lovely Sunday. Thank you for coming. First United Church of Christ and Conference Center is a church with full real life standing in the Eastern Association, Southern California, Nevada Conference of the United Church of Christ, UCC. And as a UCC church, we'd like you to know that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. My name is Yari Martinez Reina. I am one of the pastors in this community. And anyone you see with a minister tag is an ordained UCC minister in real life. It is such a blessing to be here with you today. Our service today will be in voice and in text. Music will be on the media viewer, so be sure to have your media turned on. If you don't know how to do that, let someone know and we'll try to help. There'll be a link nearby so you can watch it in your browser if the viewer isn't working for you. If you would like a bulletin for today's service, you can find it in the red binder in the back along with a donation bowl. One of the blessings and responsibilities that come with our being a real church with real life standing is that we, like all UCC church, support the work of the national church. And not only with prayer, but financially. So we greatly appreciate any offering you can make to support this ministry. If you prefer donations can also be made on our website at firstucc.org. Friends, this month is Hispanic Heritage Month. I am from Mexican descent with my familia coming from San Luis Potosí, Mexico and Matamoros, Mexico. So back home in the frontera, the border of Brownsville and Matamoros, Mexico, there are many parties and celebrations with Mexico right across the border. On September 15, we in my Mexican culture celebrated Mexican Independence Day. So today, check out, I am wearing an authentic mariachi suit and I bring all of me, my culture, my story, and my family to this place of worship with you. So um, yeah, if you notice, it's like, it's really cool because I, I can even, if you see the back of it, look at this, it is some sweet, I wish it was that cheap to buy it in real life. But. We're all here together, my friends, seeking to be in a place of belonging to those who need it, where all the people will be included and accepted and supported in their journey of faith and in their struggles in life. Oh, how it feels to be real. How good it feels to be real in Second Life. So now, I'm going to invite you, my friends, to join me as we start our service with a prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill this place with your presence. Touch the hearts, the minds, and those who see and hear and experience this service in real life, in real time, or later. Through the screens, the keyboards, the Wi-Fi, and the modems, may your power flow. And may it fill, may fill my siblings with your peace and your love. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And now I invite my, my brother Doug, we're going to do a litany. And you can please follow along in your, in your home uh, if you can. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for who we are. Some of us look like the people who lived here long ago, so close to this land that their arrival is not recorded. 
We thank you, God, for who we are. Some of us look like the people who lived here long ago, so close to this land that their arrival was not recorded. We thank you, God, for who we are. Some of us look like the Spanish who came in big ships. They took the land from the Indians and the Spanish and thought it was theirs. We thank you, God, for who we are. Some of us look like the Africans who also came in bit ships. They did not choose to come. They had no land and no freedom. And we thank you, God, for who we are. Some of us look like the Asians who came in big ships across the other ocean. They came looking for work and freedom, and many may have found discrimination and injustice. We thank you, God, for who we are. All of us are different. No two of us look exactly alike. But we are all in the image of God who came to earth that we might be one. We thank you, God, for who we are. Thank and we pray God. that you show us that we what we are to be. Amen. Amen. If there are any announcements in the life of the church, uh, please type them as we, um, in the nearby chat, during our gathering music. And this is a music by Hillsong. It's in Spanish and in English. It's a bit of a mashup.
Amen. Amen. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, we are now to the time of our scripture. And today's reading is in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 1 to 10 from the NRSV. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. And Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today's sermon is Who Do I Follow? As I mentioned at the start of the service, I have been celebrating my culture this month. I love culture and the many shades of Latinos, Latinas, and Latines. Yes, we're claiming a binary word. Um, one of the many things I love about my culture is the concept of family. It might be the same in many cultures or different. It might even be different in the states than in Mexico. It might even be different in the shades of Hispanidad, Hispanic population, just like all Spanish language. My Spanish is a bit different from a Puerto Rican, very different from a Dominican Republican person or one from Peru. We might understand each other, but some words we have to explain further. I did not know this about my culture until I moved to the Dallas area in the upper part of Texas. Back home, I only knew the people around me who were my family. Then, I go for two years to a residential program in New Mexico for spiritual direction with Pastor Chris at Still Point, and I find out there's other types of Spanish words going on in that area. But there was one thing that I saw similar in all these places, and that was the concept of family. But for me, family was intertwined with the life of the church. So since a very young age, that was my life, my church. In this church, we learned not to talk to anyone outside our circles, unless we were sharing the good news and bringing someone to Jesus. But in schools or any other secular places, hanging out with kids who were not of the faith was frowned upon. This particular Bible verse of John was often used to remind us that all around there were bad forces looking to steal your joy. So we were often told to keep our ears open only to the shepherd. I understood what my pastor was saying. I only had to look outside and see livestock to get the point. Which is why I wonder why the disciples did not get what he was saying. After all, they were around sheep, shepherds, and animals. But the scripture said they did not understand what he was saying. Now, this story comes right after the disciples had witnessed the healing of a blind man. A miracle that showed Jesus' power in action. You know, the Messiah, the rabbi with words of wisdom. Perhaps they were expecting something other than a talk about sheep. But this is what I love about Jesus. He was down to earth talking about everyday life so that everyone could understand. Jesus' teaching and parables are simple for you and I. They're simple for all to hear and imagine what's happening in the story and see the picture unfold. For me as a teenager, this story was also a warning to trust no one but the shepherd, my pastor. That's it. Think about it for a minute. As a teen, 
I feared other voices. If it was not my shepherd, I would not hear it. I did not want to know anything because they were scary people. But perhaps Jesus was not talking about friends of the shepherd stopping by to talk to him through the front door. Or neighbors from a nearby ranch or land or mountain area. Perhaps he was just making a point that those who come after the door is closed and in secret should be questioned. See, once I got that, I was open to see beyond what one person was telling me. I was open to learning and asking questions. Or perhaps another way to relate to this concept is that of a caregiver and those at his, her, or their care. For example, the concept of having fur babies. Anyone know what I'm talking about? What happens when you get home? You might have just gone out to get the mail run an errand, but when you return, they are so excited to see you. They know your voice. They know your car sound, and from a mile away, they know your scent. They know if you've been faithful. What is this I smell? Is this another fur baby you played with? That's right. So let's rewrite this section, friends. You, place your name here, open the front door or garage, and the fur babies hear your voice. When you call your fur babies, enter the name of names here, by name, and lead them out. And when you have brought out your fur baby's name, you go ahead of her, him, or all of them, and the fur babies follow you because they know your voice. Jesus said that the sheep will know him because he knows their name and they know his voice. In my concept, fur babies know my voice. Jesus goes on to explain that the bad man, the one who's not there with good intentions, does not come from the front door but the window, the shadows, the one who calls them and they don't recognize that voice. Most important is the one who does not get it. Each of us think our fur babies are the cutest and most amazing and adorable in the world or in the universe. Yes? Well, I have a friend who's my barber and he went on and on about this dog he went and got at Tijuana. My friend's from LA. He now lives in Princeton, Texas with me. But I believe God sent him to be my barber. He brought him to Princeton. But that's another story. Anyways, he kept going on and on about this lovely dog he got. He would say he's from Mexico. And I said, yes, I know. You said you got him in Tijuana. No, bro. He said he's a breed from the Aztec empires over 4,000 years. This dog name is Cholo Itzi Cuintili. I'm serious. It's got... It's got that long breed, that name. True story, look it up. So, my friend goes on and on about this lovely dog. Well, the pup, my friend's, is ugly. My opinion, he's ugly. He has no hair except a little bit on the top of his head, and when you touch his skin, it is creepy. It's like those naked cats. I suppose he could be cute. I apologize, apologize to anyone who might have a naked cat. <laughs> but I did not tell my friend he was ugly. I might have mentioned he reminded me of a hyena from the Lion King cartoon. <laughs> but to my friend, this pup is the world. See, Jesus talks about a shepherd as a way to share with his disciples about love and care. Just the same way we talk about our fur babies. Now, I'm not sure if you all have fur babies. Maybe you have a pigeon, or a turtle, or a snake. I mean, I recently delivered food to a lady who had ducks in a small swimming pool on her porch. To each its own loving creatures. But the concept is the same. Love and care for our fur babies. 
My friend, the barber, is always afraid that someone's going to take his furless baby. He would often say, what if they take him and keep him out in the sun when his poor little skin will fry? The fear of losing your furless fur, no fur, loving pet, who is more than a pet, is real. And this is where I see Jesus' story going. Anyone who does not come from the front gate, but from the window after all is dark, is up to no good. Anyone who gets in by any other way than where it is proper and visible has a hidden agenda. And I often tell teens that I work with that anyone who gives you something and demands something in return does not have your best interest in mind, especially if it's done in secret. Anyone who tells you to stay quiet about something and tells you not to tell your parents or your loved ones does not have anything good in mind. Even as adults, we know that anyone that requires thing in secret does not have anything good in mind. So Jesus said, anyone who enters any other way is a bandit, a thief, someone who does not have a good thing in mind. So it goes that Jesus uses this parable to remind us that the shepherd, your caregiver, the one who loves you, feeds you, cares for you, wants you to be worry of those who do not care for boundaries. Your fur babies, the pups, they know when someone is not supposed to be near your place. I've learned to distinguish my pups barking from, there goes another annoying squirrel, how dare that squirrel goes by my lawn to someone is at the door. It is very different from the other pup who ignores the squirrels or someone at the door, but his growling gets louder and louder as the person opens that door. So everyone in my family knows to say I'm home or risk a frightening bark that would make most of us turn different shades of ghostly. But my pups know my voice and they know they are loved. But even in the animal kingdom, there are those who take time to warm up to someone after being picked up from the kennel or a dog shelter. Even in the animal kingdom, there are those poor fur babies that were abandoned or neglected and are now in doggy jail. They too take time to warm up and to trust the treat in your hand, the slowly petting hug, the slowly petting hand, and the side hug. Yet in time, they learn to trust you. And you learn to trust them. They learn your voice. My shepherd, my caregiver is loving towards me regardless of my gender identity, my sexuality, and the shades of my spectrum. Those in the spectrum, they take time to warm up to anyone near them because they do not know them. And anxiety and fear are real. Recently, we walked alongside a teen who is on the spectrum and he does not really talk. Nor does he want to be touched or looked at when talking. So I had to learn to say what I needed to say looking down or to the other side. I'm not used to that. But I'm willing to learn. Society is not used to that. And I saw it at the camp I ran this summer. I would hear a leader say, look at me when I'm talking to you. And I would often find myself going over and moving the conversation along, then returning to speak to them and reminding them that not all can see you eye to eye. But that does not mean they're not listening. Our shepherd knows how we take our tea. Our shepherd knows how we talk, pray, or move. I pray by walking, by taking the fur babies out, looking at the horizon in the morning, and stars at night. But I also talk to the Holy One and when I'm running late, and I'm begging them to hold the green light. It, it could just be me. But how do you talk to your caregiver, the lover of your soul and your mind? So we get the concept of Jesus knowing us, calling us, caring for us, and in return, we know him and follow it's the intimate knowledge of being known. And despite all of our failings and lack of perfection, we are loved unconditionally, 
even in all shades of the spectrum. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. As a Latin individual of Mexican descent, I am proud of my heritage. I'm proud of my family's accomplishments in this country of the United States and in Mexico. But above all, I am proud to know that I am in a bigger family with you now. And with those who are called by name, by the one who's familiar with our deepest longings. And so friends, I ask you, so who do we follow? Follow the one who gives you life joy and a sense of belonging that does not demand you to deny yourself let it be so i'm in We have come to this time of prayers. Where together we lift our prayers and our joy of joy and of concerns. We're a community that holds each other in prayer. So today, I want to invite you while this song plays to type in your prayer request in the chat box.
That's right. We have our hope in the Lord, and as such, we come in prayer today. So, Lee, you are right. All this talk about fur babies. I want to say thank you for all of our fur babies and our animals at home because they're they're family, right? And so, Lily, I'm joined with you right now for your amazing baby, who is more healthy on that vet prescription food and yes even though it's more expensive i want to thank the lord for providing you because i agree they are so worth it and they bring you such joy and sometimes i feel that the fur babies are this loving loving heart of god in our lives so i pray that lily's beautiful baby that might be bigger than anything lovely sammy I ask for the blessings of Lily and all, all of Lily's family, including River, a trusted friend that was brought to Lily's life. And if, even though they have challenges, I pray for this community, Lord, that you continue to bless them, that you continue to be with them as they lean on each other. Thank you, God, for providing this opportunity for them to all be in community. And as we pray for River also, God, we ask that you continue to guide them, that you continue to show them that what they have around them might not be the best, but it is good because we are all good in you. And God, we ask that you help them. And also for Daisy, another another person in Lily's life, Lord, I pray that you are with Daisy wherever Daisy is, even though they might be withdrawn. For months but God you never forget us you never forget where we are or who we are even when we're gone you're still there and may Daisy remember that you are still there and that Lily and the community is still there God we pray for Doug that Doug has that strength to recover from the weariness of not only mowing but life and just life in general God we pray that you are with Doug and thank you God for Doug thank you for all the things that Doug does because you know that Doug Doug has been my my helper here because God if it wasn't for Doug's willingness I will be lost with the music and things so I thank you God for Doug may you continue to bless his life and all the things he does in real life and here for SL and it's such I also want to 
pray with Doug for absent friends, for Johnny and for all those we might not see every day, for all those who are in seminary, for all those who are probably working right now or are busy with something else, for Pastor Chris, for Pastor Josh, for Pastor Jerome, and the traveling of Pastor Jerome, wherever he is. God, bless our pastors. Bless where their work is done all around in real life. And that they come to SL and they're a blessing to us and our community. So I pray for absent friends and I join Doug. And I pray, God Almighty, for Monica and with Monica. That Monica is able to do the things that Monica needs to do. God, you know what they are. You see Monica. You know Monica. You know her by name. And I ask, God Almighty, that you bless Monica's work. That you infuse her with this, with this energy, with this passion for life, with this ability to go out there and continue to do what you've called us to do. And in all Monica does, may you be a blessing. And I want to pray with joy for our Jewish friends as they celebrate their holy, holy high days. God, I, I, I don't know a lot about the Jewish holidays, but I want to honor and respect all cultures as you called us to be all in community. And so, God, I pray in your many names. I pray with joyous also for the cat who lost uh, her person to death. Even animals hide because they don't know the voice of the one around. And they're probably mourning just like we mourn. The little, little cat might be mourning. Probably that's why she's hiding. But I'm going to pray, God, that even this beautiful little cat who's hiding and in mourning, just as you touch our lives when we're mourning and grieving, I'm going to ask, because you know the pain we have. You know sometimes the fear we have. And this, this little guy right there, or little girl, little kitty, may you, may you just blow a wind of trust and of love. Because who doesn't want to be around Joyous? May you be with this fur baby. And may you be with this family who has lost someone. God, I pray for SL. For our place. For our church. I pray that you continue to guide us. That you continue to show us which way we're going to go. Which way we're going to grow. Which way we're going to learn from each other. And which way we're going to continue to touch lives through, through the waves of the internet. And through your your inspiration to love unconditionally and continue to grow in community. God, bless us. Be with us. Be with us as we continue to move forward. Holy One, hear our prayers. Those voice here today, those spoken only in the depths of our hearts, those for which we have no words, we lift them all to you. Oh bendito Dios, corazón del cielo y de la tierra, alabado sea tu nombre. Te alaban tus hijas e hijos de todos los pueblos del mundo, sin importar fronteras. Holy God, heart of heaven and earth, praise be your holy name, your daughters and your sons, your children from all the people of the world. Regardless of borders, we praise you. And we pray on this day for all citizens of the world, for all of us of different cultures, shades of spectrum, walks of life, and journeys. May we remember your blessings and your love in our lives, and may we share with all those around us. Amen. Friends, so let's go forth from this place into the world to find yourself a cause you can live for and a love you can live into. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ bring it up like living water, fill your heart and flow through your life. Now let us dance. The next song is Tuyo, which means yours. And it is in English and in Spanish, and I put the words there, I promise. Amen.
can leave my whole world in your hands Let you hold it together Like the day was forever Siempre dice lo mismo que ayer Nunca me dejarás Yo no sé de dinero Ni mucho de la fama Pero sé que te quiero Y sé que tú me amas Que se escuche en el cielo Lo gritaré con ganas Que soy tuyo Soy solo tuyo oh, 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 Y todo me empezó como un sueño Hacerte sufrir nunca fue el intento El corazón mío frío como el invierno Pero tú me lo calentaste Solo tú puedes repararme, dime algo. It's for my people, part of mi gente in Puerto Rico We stronger than ever, the hurricane cannot defeat you I promise that he'll never leave you He'll never lead you in the wrong way Every day God will lead you Ni mucho de la fama Pero sé que te quiero Y sé que tú me amas Que se escuche en el Viviendo mía uh -huh. sin usar sabiduría uh -huh. Jugándote como una lotería No dándome cuenta lo que tú decías Hoy en día, Hoy en día. Que tú te glorifiques uh -huh. en mi poesía uh -huh. Pa' que gente se dé cuenta no por joyería uh -huh. La respuesta más clara es que una piscina uh -huh. Música de los cielos Esto no es esa tontería, uh -huh. soy tuyo The boys are back at it again Latin vibes coming heavy for my New Year weekends We spread love, that's the Brooklyn way And we put God first, it's nothing new That's a go well way <laughs> Yeah, this for a new generation. Uh -huh. Every race, every color, every nation. Come together, there's no more separation. It's time to rise up and make a statement. I can leave my whole world in your hands. Let you hold it together. Like today was forever. You told me all you needed was a chance. Just to show me the way. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming to service. Um, I am so glad, Philip, that you're here with us. We're at the end of this um, service. But if you like a bulletin in the back, we, we are more than glad to give you that. It is amazing to be in community. We're just so glad to see you here, my friend. Our service had ended, but you know what? We just started because the week just started. So let us go forward from this place and, and have a great week ahead. May you have an amazing week. May all you do be a blessing to you and others. And you have a lovely Sunday night and a great week. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. <laughs>